This video is going to be a collective haul, so if you would like to see items I have picked up from Victoria's Secret, Express, Ulta, H&M, and one thing from Henry Bendel, please stay tuned. Okay, so let's get into this huge haul of things. Um, you know, I try putting myself on spending bans, but... When I get a sale email, it's like I have to participate in the sale because if a sale goes by and I miss a deal or I don't use a coupon, I get extremely sad. So <laughs> these are things I picked up over the past few weeks. I didn't buy all this stuff at one time and I will be showing some bras in this video. So if that makes you uncomfortable, you can fast forward or click out of the video. So enough rambling. I'm gonna start with Victoria's Secret. The first thing I got is from the pink line and it's just this swimsuit cover up and it features a really nice tea back detailing and it comes about above your knees but it's this really pretty bright pink color I don't even think it's coming off on camera true to color it is a neon color and it's actually a lot thicker and more well made than I would have thought because lately Victoria's Secret items tend to be kind of thin but I was actually really impressed with this and I bought most of this stuff actually all of it online I don't remember the price of this I think it was like $29.50 but yeah now into the bra so like I said if you find this uncomfortable or whatever you can fast forward the first one I picked up is the the Angels push-up and this is my favorite push-up because the very sexy line it just doesn't do it for me I love the Angels line so this is the bra that I got it's just a regular nude push-up with lace detailing on the back in a regular nude color I don't know what else to say about this bra but this is my favorite line of push-ups from Victoria's Secret and this was $52 the next one I picked up is the new t-shirt. It's not too new now, but it's probably the newest bra to their line of bras. And it is this black t-shirt bra. It's just really comfortable and smooth. Um, I was always wondering why Victoria's Secret never had a t-shirt bra because most other lines do. It's basically a demi cup plus a little more coverage in the front. And in the back, you can um, unhook the straps and wear it cross backed or yeah pretty much cross back or regular so I really like this bra and this is in the black and I believe this was 45 this this um, line of bras is a little cheaper than their other lines the next one I have is my favorite one Ugh. I walked in there and as soon as I saw this on the mannequin I was like okay I'm getting that I have to get it this is the Dream Angels Demi. This is probably my favorite line of just everyday bras because it's not padded, but because of the Demi center goring or whatever that center thing is called, it just really gives you great lift and support. And I just love this color. It's hot pink. And I don't know if it's showing true to color on camera, but it is very, 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 very bright neon pink with a yellow bow in the middle I don't know if you can see that and of course with the lace back and I I'm like in love with this color I think it looks so good on anybody's skin tone and it'll make you look more tanned and in the summertime we all want to be tanned so yeah and this is the centerpiece that I was talking about right here I think it just helps give you more support if you do have a larger bust size so yeah, this is probably my favorite bra. And the last bra I got is their Body by Victoria lined strapless. But it's, I think it's called their Body by Victoria multi-way. And I got it in nude. It just looks like this. It's their really soft um, fabric with a little bit of lace detailing under the cups. And inside it has like these structured wing things. <laughs> To keep the bra in place it's just a regular nude multi-way it did come with detachable straps but I think I've already put them in my drawer 
and this bra was $52. I would say if you have a larger chest and you're not looking for a bra to give you a lot of push up or padding, go with the Body by Victoria Multiway. Um, I just needed a basic bra like this for the summertime to go with strapless tops or halters. Now I'm in lingerie <laughs> category. Next, I'm going to get into H&M. So my first item I have is a pair of white swim shorts. I think they're called beach shorts. It's basically like shorts to go over a swimsuit. And these were $17.95. They just feature a really soft white eyelet lace with um, trim at the bottom and these are actually very comfortable I've already tried them on and I pretty much just got these to go over my bathing suit when I'm at the pool just sitting around or whatever the next thing from H&M is this skirt I'll place all the um, the names of the items below if I can find them but this was $12.95 you probably can't see it it's like a skirt with a smock detailing at the top and it's like very flowy it's a jersey knit but it's not the kind of jersey that's going to pill it's the type that's fairly sturdy and it features black with white or tan polka dots i tried this on this fits really really nicely it's a nice flowy skirt for spring and summer so for only 13 dollars, i definitely think it is well worth it and my last thing from H&M is just this basic tank. It was $5.95. You probably can't see that. It's kind of see-through, but I don't mind because I'll just wear it with a black bra or a black bandeau on top of my bra. And I basically got this tank to wear with that skirt. It's a really long tank, but I'm going to tuck it into that skirt because when I wear flowy skirts, I like to have my shirt somewhat fitted. So it's just this nice basic black tank that was $6.00. That is it for H&M. Now I'm going to get on to Express. So Express was having, well, Express is always having a sale and they always have good clearance. I pretty much only shop at Express when they're doing their 40% off their entire website. That's when I like to shop there because I think that Express is fairly overpriced for what it is, but when it's 40% off, you know, who can beat that? So the first thing I got is this sweater shell thing. And I figured this would be nice just a nice um, business casual top. It is blue with like black netting, but it's not actual netting. It's more just the print of the shirt. This was $49.50, but this was on clearance. I believe I got this for eight or nine dollars. It features black, um, a black, I don't know. It's not, well, I guess it's kind of like a stripe down the side of the blouse. I just really think that this is pretty and I think that this will be nice to transition from spring to summer to fall and winter, um, pairing it with sweaters and blazers and stuff like that. So that's the first thing. I also got it in white and black because I tend to wear a lot of black so I like to play off of different colored tops. So this is the exact same thing, just with black and white, with the black on the side. It's just really nice, and it's a good neck length also for business casual. I don't like anything too low, so I just think this would be really great with a pencil skirt or black slacks. And this was also on clearance for 8 or $9, I believe. Next thing I got is this midi skirt, which I'm not even sure what that means, but it basically comes down to a little below your knees. This is a little smaller than I thought it would be, but once I get back down to my desired weight, this should be perfect. It's basically just a black midi skirt, um, and it is a thick material, and it's not see-through because it is lined, so... I really love that. You probably can't really see it, but it's a nice skirt. And this was $39.50. This was not on clearance, but I did get this for 40% off. And the next thing I got from Express is this cropped lace tee. This was $29, $29.90, and I got it 40% off. It's just this cropped lace tee, and I plan to wear this with that midi skirt pulled up higher so that I don't show my stomach, but I just figured this was a really nice piece for summer to wear at night, for a night out, and also in the winter because of the like bright blue color. I just really like this. 
Okay, and my last item from Express is a black maxi dress. When I saw this on the website, I was super excited because that's the one thing that I wanted for the summer. I love maxi dresses, but I don't really have a maxi skirt. But a trick that I do with some dresses is I'll wear them as a skirt. So maybe I'll do that in a later video as an outfit of the day. But it's just this basic black maxi dress and it does feature a slit up the leg. You probably can't see it that well. And it comes up um, like three inches above your knee. I don't know if I'm going to keep this dress. I really love it and it's really nice, but it's too open at the bottom. I don't know. I mean, duh, it has a slit in it, but I don't know. Something about it fits weird to me, but I'll see. I'll probably end up keeping it just because I really wanted it. Okay. Okay. My next thing is what I got from Henry Benzel and I actually found this on eBay and it is called the Mind Your Business business card case and it is in a pink uh, lizard. I believe it's real leather. I'm not sure. But I actually found it on eBay for $15. So I was really excited about that. And it just features a snap open and inside it, there's like a foam thing and then just the price tag. It originally was $38, but I got it for $15. So, always love a good deal. And the reason why I wanted this is because my wallet, my Louis Vuitton Serre wallet, tends to get really big because I have too many store loyalty cards or gift cards or whatever. So, I needed something to house all those in. So, I figured this would be nice and also one day when I have business cards, hopefully soon, um, I can put them in here. And I think this is just really nice to keep in your black bags because when you have black accessories or pouches in black bags, it's kind of hard to find. So I figured this pink would be a really nice pop of color. So I'm really excited to start using this. Okay, finally, we're at the end of the haul. The next few items are things that I got from Ulta Online. The first thing is this CoverGirl At Last Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation in the shade 860 Classic Tan. I'm sure we all know what this looks like. It's not a new foundation. I actually have it um, at home in New York, but I didn't bring it with me and I figured I need a cheap foundation when I want to do a video and I don't want to waste my higher end foundations. So this was I think like $12, but I will be doing a review on my channel telling you how I like it for my oily skin and all that good stuff. The next two things I got were lashes. I was finally able to get my favorite lashes. Um, I haven't been able to find the lashes that I love in store. I don't know if they don't carry them or if they're always sold out. So I guess I'll just have to buy them online from now. And they are the Ardell 120s. So I did get one twin pack and they look like this. They're just very wispy and natural. And then I got one singular pack. So I'm so happy that I finally have my lashes back. And the next thing I got is this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. Once again, this is a product that I repurchased because I have a whole bunch of these in New York in my vanity. And I think these have gotten smaller. Tell me if I'm wrong, but it's about the size of my pinky. And if I'm not mistaken, these are, well, they used to be a lot fatter. So I don't know, but I wanted to get this for when I do brighter looks and I want to make my eyeshadow really pop. Using a white base under your eyeshadow is a great trick to do so. And the last thing I got are these Palladio Rice Paper Oil Absorbing Block Tissues. And I was just looking for something in the sales section to make my order $25 so that I could get free shipping. Yes, I'm that girl. <laughs> And these were on sale, I can't remember for how much, probably less than $5. But these feature four oil blotting tissues. And I wanted these because if you can see, there's like an Asian woman on the front. And I am part Asian. And when my grandmother would come back from Japan or go to the Japanese stores, she would always send my brother and I these little Japanese botan or maybe they're called Botan, rice candies. And like, it'd be a fruit flavor candy or something. And then they'd be in like a rice paper wrapping and then a wrapping. So like you could eat the rice paper wrapping it just melts in your mouth. So it kind of made me nostalgic about my childhood. So I decided to pick these up and I'll let you know how these are. I love oil blotting sheets and I use them all the time because I have super oily skin. So I figured why not get these. 
Okay, well, that is the end of my huge, long collective haul. I hope I didn't ramble on too long, but once again, I will put everything in the description bar. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I will leave a link to my Ebates below. Ebates is a wonderful website I use to get cash back on almost all of the purchases that I make over the internet. Um, I think for all these orders combined, I have about 5 or $6 back, so it's great. And sometimes they even have 15 to 20% cash back, so that's like double and triple tax in some circumstances. So I really love Ebates, and it really helps me save, so I'll probably do a video on Ebates in the future because I know some people probably think it's a scam, but I'm here to tell you it's not. So anyway, enough rambling. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.